right, welcome into Rivalry Round. This is game number three of this rivalry between uh, Arizona State and the University of Arizona. And I want to take a different perspective right now. We've talked to the coaches, we've talked to the players. How about we talk to an official, a guy that's been around these for a few years now and has seen some of them. Zachary Reese is going to be on the, uh, on the ice tonight as one of the officials. So first of all, welcome in, Zach. Thanks for having me. So the perspective I want to take on this was first of all refereeing. So talk about how you got involved in refereeing. I know you're a Minnesota native, so tell me a little bit about how you got interested in refereeing hockey. Uh, how I got refereeing hockey is actually I was not very good as a player, right? And uh, I knew I didn't want to go into coaching, yeah. And uh, I wanted, but I wanted to stay around the game. So you know, officiating. I you know I never really considered it until after my playing days, and I figured, hey, what the heck? You know, give me a, make me a few dollars here and there. And it turned into a passion that uh, I never expected. And um, I, I actually uh, can honestly say I, I have a lot more uh, passion for officiating than I ever did as a player. So when did you begin officiating and when did you move down here to the desert southwest and, and, and that type of thing? Uh, currently, I'm in my, this is my 10th season okay. in uh, USA Hockey. And we, my family moved from St. Paul, Minnesota uh, down here. We moved to the, the Phoenix Valley in 2004. Okay. So, so you I'm all desert acclimated still. <laughs> I, I don't like the cold anymore. I hear you. I'm the same way. As we talk about officiating here in the desert southwest, you've seen plenty of changes with, with hockey in the desert southwest from Austin Matthews to the NCAA program at ASU to the club programs exploding. And I just want to get your opinion on what you thought. Did you think that was happening or was going to happen? You know, it's been a it's been a great thing to be around, uh, from, maybe from just from the officiating standpoint of seeing the the programs coming in, uh, especially the women's program. You know, ASU's women's program, uh, GCU's women's program. You know, college level. Um, you know, when you talk to out of town guys, and I know a lot of guys around the country, a lot of the different officials around the country, uh, they you know it, it's it's a shock to them of how much hockey is here and how much real good level hockey uh, so it's it's really been a it's really been a blessing to be around and to see how hockey's grown it, even at the youth level in Arizona so let's jump into this rivalry you're down here at the uh, Tucson Convention Center Tucson Arena I guess and we've got ASU and U of A you've seen some rivalries in the past I know growing up in Minnesota you know about rivalries but oh, yeah. talk to me a little bit about this U of A ASU one and what it's been like over the past few years that you've done the games yeah you know every official is going to uh, he's going to he or she is going to prepare for a game differently um you know for me honestly it's just a, it's another game uh it's you know it, like i said some guys have their their ways of getting into it uh they have pre-game meals or pre-game rituals that they go through uh you know these games you know it's it's let the game come to you yeah, you know, let the players let the players dictate to how they want to play the game, and uh, you know that's what we really want. We want a good, hard, clean game played within the rules and keeping it fair and safe for everybody. You get a chance to see some various arenas from Oceanside up in Tempe to the TCC down here and and Gila River and all over the different places. But yeah. does the venue that you're in have any bearing at all on doing a game? Um, not really. One of the one of the struggles. Uh, down here, and um, for some of the viewers don't know, the, the Sun Dogs, the, the, the old Central Hockey League, the, the um, Prescott Sun Dogs. Yep. Uh, they, the venues are, are a little bit different. I mean, like a bigger venue is obviously a little bit different than Oceanside. Right. Um, you know, a much higher ceiling. But I think one of the biggest challenges in an arena like this is uh, following the puck up into the seating area oh, yeah. because uh, the, the seats are dark. And obviously the puck is dark and the net is black, so it's you know I think that's one of the biggest thing, biggest challenges I think for an official. But it, the size of the venue really isn't that much. I think it affects the players a lot more than the officials. Talk a little bit about what you've seen through uh, the rivalry of the year. What's the craziest thing you've seen in the last four years as an official? Uh, well, they had a <laughs> goaltender fight last year. Uh, there was a there was a goaltender fight in a, I think that was the final game last year. I wasn't on the game. Right. Um, you know, there's been various uh, there's been various fighting penalties. Um, you know, throughout the years, but uh, that, that one I think. Um, I think that one actually made uh, last year. I think that one made ESPN's t top ten. Or something I think like you're that. right. So, so yeah, I think that was uh, that was one of the, the you know, between these two teams. I think that was one of the, the crazier things that happened. 
when you see two teams coming in like they are right now, both of them are ranked, uh, ASU at 25, yep. U of A as high as they've ever been at six. Do you expect a little more hockey to be played than shenanigans? We'll see. You know, we're gonna see how they play. We just come out and see how they play. You know, it's it's really up to the, the players on how they want to dictate and how they want the flow of the game to go. And you know, and hopefully we have just have a the, the biggest thing out of us that we want to see is uh, well a couple things. Number one, we want to be the hardest working team on the ice, and number two, we want to see a great hockey game. You know, we want the players to dictate. You know, the game itself. So, you know, we're a part of that. It's it's great. At the different levels that you've refereed, and this will kind of wrap things up, is tell me about ACHA hockey now, what it's like, and and what it was like in the in the years past. It seems to be evolving, especially out here in the West. I think from the officiating side, I think it's a lot more structured. Yep. Um, you know, there's been some changes, and I think I think now you know it's a lot more structured. It's a lot more professional. I think. Um, you know, everybody I think on staff does a really good job. You know, they, they work hard. Um, you know, that's. That's about it, you know, from from what I can from what I can say. But yeah, it's uh, it's good. Zach, I appreciate your time. I only have one request: stay out of my camera lens. <laughs> I'll try, try to.